Daily headlines can oftentimes be wonderfully vague. Saying that migration rates are up or down, for instance, can be useful to know. But what exactly does it mean? Today we are looking at how to measure migration using stocks and flows. Basically, there are two ways to quantify migration. Remember, we're generally talking about people who change their place of residence for these measurement purposes. Tourists would then not show up in these numbers. Tourists are not considered migrants. You can either count the number of migrants in a certain country, or you can count the number of migrants crossing a country's border. We'll get into both of these since they tell different stories. Let's start with stocks. This term represents the absolute number of people in a country at a given time. So imagine if we pointed a camera at a country's population and took a snapshot, counting all the migrants in the photo would give us our migrant stock. Now, Stocks can either be presented as a total count of migrants or the percent of migrants compared to the domestic population. Looking at both these absolute and relative stocks helps account for population sizes. Take Luxembourg and Germany, for instance. In the 2017 Reminder Project study of migration within Europe, they measured both of these kinds of stocks. Luxembourg had the highest relative stock, while Germany had the highest absolute stock. Flows, on the other hand, represent the number of people in a given time period who have moved countries. Think about if a country had a single entry and exit point that counted everyone that crossed through to change residence. Again, sorry tourists, you guys don't count for this one. Since countries can expect to see both emigration and immigration in a given time period, emigrant and immigrant flows are measured simultaneously. Comparing these two values can inform a country about whether its net migration ratio is positive or negative. So the next time you're reading up on migration, be sure you understand whether you're reading about stocks or flows, if the measurements are absolute or relative, and what time period your data was collected within. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and see you next time.